I've actually, I've actually just pressed start recording. I, I was gonna, I was gonna write some stuff up to talk about, but I feel like it's fresh in the mind, and I can start talking about it. But first and foremost, before we start talking about Vegas, I want to give a humongous shout out to Scuff for the va- rude for the vantage. Uh, your boy is really excited to start playing with this. I've been playing a little bit on the new patch, which we're gonna do a video about at some point. I- I'm busy. Um, and we'll be talking about that very, very soon. But anyway, I've got Advantage. Not many people have got them in the UK. Can't actually get them in the UK. I only got it because I was in America and I brought it back. So nobody uh, gets scuffed into trouble for that. I didn't I didn't buy it over here. They just give me it. Anyway, great controller so far from what I've seen. There's going to be a review of that coming on the channel probably next week after I've had times to get uh, to grips with it. But it already feels really good. Anyway, let's talk about Vegas. Optic Gaming are your champions once again. And... I say once again, it's it's been a while, really, hasn't it, since Optic looked as good as that. Uh, what was it, 24-4 and 4 record on maps, something along those lines, and a phenomenal performance out of them. And really, I mean, Dashi picking up the MVP, you could have really given it to any of them, to be honest. Krim had his moments, Scump had his moments, uh, Karma had his moments, TJ... I'd argue TJ was probably the fifth best player in their team this weekend, and he played great. Uh, and I think, realistically, Dashi, though, probably did about deserve it, but I said, I don't think anyone would have really argued had it went to Karma or Skump or Krim. But what a performance out of them. Um, and I just want to talk about maybe some of the disappointments and some things that we maybe didn't expect to happen. 100 Thieves being one of them, of course, uh, finishing top 12, I think it was, in the end. And, I mean... For, for a roster of that calibre, you look at that team on paper and you sort of say to yourself, right, okay, I mean, they should be doing better. And things just didn't really click for them so far. Uh, and we, we'd seen that online. They were having some issues. Yes, okay, they got second a couple of times in uh, some notable online tournaments, but there was issues. And I, I, Kenny didn't seem up to scratch. Uh, hopefully they can figure it out. I would like to see what they do with the Pro League Qualifier, which will be coming in January, of course. Uh, we'll see what happens on their front. Uh, let's talk other disappointments. Reciprocity and Red. I was going to say Europe in general, but we'll come to that in a second. It's not really Europe in general, I suppose. I've just, by the way, looked at how tired I looked. Wow. Yeah, I'm actually not feeling too bad in terms of the jet lag, but I, I got back last night. Uh, I, I actually feel okay, but I don't look okay. I look like a been on a bender for four days, but which I haven't, unfortunately. I didn't have a time. Either way, let's uh, talk about red and reciprocity. Disappointment result, uh, results for those guys. And um, I, Dirk pointed out something. He said those guys had come over, scrimmed in Vegas for like a week or so, and then they had struggled. They, they really did struggles, uh, struggle. And I, I mean, I didn't see many of their games apart from Reds against LGs. And they started off pretty well um, in each map and just never really got things rolling for themselves. It just feels as if Red struggled to get into a groove this weekend. Um, I had Raider messaging me on the Sunday, Saturday night saying, you know, if we can get through our first couple of games, he feels like they could go on a roll, which I think was the case uh, for how well LG did. LG didn't have a great start either. Yes, they did beat Red, but they struggled otherwise. Um, I think it was just a case of getting rolling and Red never really did. Uh, Reciprocity got a good result against FaZe, but uh, the thing is, when you put yourself in the loser's bracket at an MLG event like that, you end up playing in the loser's pretty late on in, in tournaments, and, and it really can detriment you. So I think the boys only got three or four hours sleep, then they come in, they got the game the day after against a team that's dropped from the winner's bracket, and they went out in top 12 as well. So disappointing in general from the teams we expected in Europe, or from Europe, to do well. Now, let's talk about the teams that did do well from Europe uh, that I didn't really expect. First of all, let's talk about Lightning Pandas, a really good performance out of them. I spent uh, a day with... Um, Dave and Petey, uh, we actually hung around in Vegas because our flight wasn't until 9 p.m. and we went to play a Top Golf, which, by the way, never swung a golf club in my life. I'm the fucking tits in it, mate. I'm so good at Top Golf. Who, who would have known? I, I can actually hit a golf ball. Most people you see play golf the first time. I am. Um, Petey was gassing me up. I might be terrible. He was like, oh, man, most people who play first time can't even hit the ball. Oh, mate, it was 180 yards nearly every time. Got some hellish connection. It, besides, we'll not talk about Top Golf. Let's let's talk about. Lightning Pandas. Lightning Pandas did very, very well. In the end, what probably did go on to hurt them was the fact they got reverse sweened by Team Sween, which we'll touch on in a second. Uh, but Lightning Pandas looking really, really good uh, on all aspects, really. Um, all of them putting up big numbers where they needed to. Wee Man, I think, had, may have had the lowest KD. Don't, don't quote me on that. But he even played well whenever I seen them playing. So all those boys had their moments where they shone. And 
they're one of these teams that just really grinded the begin the game at the beginning, and they got used to it very very quickly and looked good online. And then the, the thing is that I find most impressive the fact that they finished top six. Yeah, top six. I think it was Lightning Pandas and Team Sweden, both top six. The thing I found so impressive about Team Sweden, actually, was the fact that they went all the way through Open to then finish top six. So that is a phenomenal achievement in itself. It's such a grind to get through, and I, th I think they only dropped one map in all of Open, and you could tell that by how, by how good they looked. But one thing I did want to touch on uh, quickly about Team Sweden was the fact that they did go through Open, and the fact that I feel like, and I spoke to them about this, and they, they said, yeah, pretty much, was the fact that if you're going through Open, you are playing so much more Call of Duty than the teams who are already in pools. So the fact that it's the first event, you're starting maybe to develop as a team, more games online are definitely going to help you. They went into the pools really, really hard, beating 100 Thieves in there. I think they only lost to E United. So really good work from Team Sweden. I said really good work from like the Pandas as well. They were a team I didn't really know what to expect from. I, online, things hadn't been going well for them. They said that themselves. And then they just came roaring into their groups, uh, finished top in their pool, did very, very well. Unfortunately for them, though, going up uh, against E United to stay in the competition was always going to be quite difficult. Now let's talk about the rest of the teams who finished in the top four. So fourth was LG, Spice finished third, and E United second, and of course Optic first. Um, LG, as I said, they had they had a bit of a slow start um, in the group specifically, but battled all the way through the losers to get to where they were, uh, beaten straight, ripping to get themselves in the top six straight. Um, I think that might have been a loser, and then they beat Team Sween. Uh, Team Sween looked good against them the first map, but then LG came back to beat them. LG's performance, though, was more like you probably would have expected from them. I just think they will go on to get better throughout the season as well. It, it seems as if there was there was a couple of team mistakes, that sort of thing, but their actual gun skill was carrying them through. Speaking of gun skill, Gunless was easily their best player for me. Whenever I watched them play, he was frying. I mean, let's be honest, we, we don't expect anything else but out of PS. A very, very solid player, and the, the guy is, uh, is a phenom at times, a, a sensational player, and he was just putting up huge numbers all week long for that team, and whenever it came down to these clutch moments that had to be made, he, he was making them for the boys, but very, very good from LG, but they then did go on to lose to E United in a game that we casted over on Bravo, and that was a, a phenomenal series out of E United. They look so, so solid. And one thing I commented on that LG seemed to be lacking was a leader, and that leader is on the United now in JCap. JCap had a good performance this weekend, but a BZ, there was question marks around this guy as he never what, finished top eight, top 60, something like that last year, and uh, there was question marks over him, and he answered those very, very easily. Had a very good event, but Clay and Arsities for me were standout, phenomenal performances out of them. Clay looked insane, actually. Probably the best we've seen him look for a few years. Arsities, you expect that from him. Pristini had a good event as well, from what I've seen. Whenever I casted him anyway, obviously it was casting open for the most time, but uh, Pristini looked really, really solid. And I I'm going to quickly move on to Splice, because they lane lost to United as well. Splice had... <laughs> The thing is with Splice, they, they give away a few series. If they didn't give away a few of these series, they could have won the event. They, they really, really could have. Um, you feel like the one against Optic is the one that hurt. They give away the series against the United, I think. Was it, it was a reverse sweep as well. Um, it's going to be really tough to deck, and I wonder what they're missing to stop them doing that, because they've got all the talent. Uh, Looney is there. You can't say they're missing a leader, because they've got Looney. I, I mean, Jed was probably, for me, one of the top five players at the event, and that's maybe a teensy weensy bit of EU bias in there, but he, he was phenomenal, absolutely sensational, and it just caused me so many problems with that Sorg. Up there is probably one of the best SMGs, him and Skump. I, I, I struggle to separate that. I'd probably give it to Skump because they go on to win the event, but, uh, I mean, Jed was was phenomenal. Temp as well, actually. Temp, Temp looked amazing. Con considering the past few years, he is really not being at the races, struggles with top 12, top 8, then Temp to come in and play like he did this week was a testament to how good of a player he actually is. So I'll be really interested to see how the Spice team do going forward. Of course, they finished third, E United finished second. Optic Gaming, though, as said, walk away as winners. Uh, guys, I want you to let me know what you thought of the open bracket stream. Um, 
we're sending our feedback through to the CWL of what we thought of it as well. Um, I think there, there was a few good games on there. Obviously, it's towards the Saturday, and I understand telling the story, but we'll see what happens with that um, in the future to see what they're going to do. But I, I mean, either way, I thoroughly enjoyed my time. It was a great event ran by the CWL and MLG, of course. The three rooms was really... Um, unique and i like the middle room where uh we were all based with the blackout booth and they had all the stations there and had zombies and shout out all the guys that were there scuff uh we had game fuel there of course as well astro boys were there as per usual and it was just awesome to see everybody and the main stage itself was, was amazing uh, shout out the guys on production on alpha because you guys smashed it with it. all that was going on the screens the lights everything was sensational guys over on bravo production were amazing all weekend long i could not thank them enough the only thing i can complain about is the long days but that's neither here nor there for our love of call of duty we will do it but sensational from those guys and they make our job so much easier guys let you know uh, let me know what you thought about vegas what what you think about the game that you've seen it online what do you think the future holds for it I, I mean i i think we're in for a great yeah anyway guys if you could like the video i said comment with your thoughts below as well and we will see you for a few more throughout the week guys we'll catch you then